Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be installing a mailbox. And this is a little bit different because it's not your traditional mailbox where you just sink a 4x4 post in the ground. This one has a post that you bolt to a slab. So I'm not going to take credit for the procedure for this. This is a mailbox you can get on Amazon. There's, a, there's pretty good written descriptions and how you have written instructions on how to install this mailbox in, in the Amazon reviews, but there's no instructions that come with it. So I'm not, I didn't take credit for this procedure. I'm not going to attempt to. So I'm just going to try to reproduce in video form what you can read in the reviews online about this mailbox. And I'll leave a link to, this, to the, the mailbox in the description of this video. It's a very nice heavy duty one. I mean, this, this post feels like it weighs uh, 40 or 50 pounds. So it's got some gravity to it. And the technique that we're going to be using today is we're going to pour a little slab and we're going to be sinking these concrete anchor bolts into it. So you see that little hook at the bottom? That goes into the concrete. This sticks up out of the slab, this threaded portion right here. So I got all the installation hardware at Lowe's, but before we get ahead of ourselves, we have to figure out how to mark the bolt pattern. I'll show you why that's going to be important. Here's a closer up view of the base plate where it's going to bolt to the slab. You can see these anchor bolts are pretty tight fit. I mean, you can almost argue they don't fit. They just barely fit through. I looked for three ace bolts at Lowe's. They didn't have any. So these are half inch bolts. So we have to make sure that this bolt pattern is dead on because once this is set in concrete, that's it. I mean, you, they don't make a bolt mover. So we're gonna have to make sure our bolt pattern is spot on. So what I'm gonna do, and again, this is, again, I can't take credit for this. This is all detailed in the description for this, uh, this product on Amazon. We're gonna drill some holes in this plywood. We're gonna use this plywood as a jig to locate these bolts in the concrete. So let's get uh, first get our post kind of where we want it. This is going to be the front of the mailbox right here. So we'll mark that. <clears throat> it's going to put an arrow on the plywood because this bolt pattern is, I don't think it's symmetric all the way around. It's not like the bolts don't form a square, in which case it wouldn't really matter. So we'll make this our front. Just drew an arrow and wrote the letter F. Now you could take a pencil and uh, mark things that way, but I think given the precision that these holes have to be in, um, I'm actually gonna do, use an old trick here. <clears throat> Hopefully it still works. So I'm gonna stick the bolt, hole, bolt in there and whack it with a hammer to locate it. That should give us a nice indent in the plywood. Gonna do this for all four holes. And again, you have to get this just right. If you don't, you're not gonna be able to get the mailbox on. So let's see how that looks. So we have half inch bolts. We're gonna drill some half inch holes in here and then we're gonna verify that we can actually get the mailbox on afterwards. That's kind of important. I meant the post, obviously. So we're gonna have the bolts sticking up. We're gonna make sure the, that the post slides onto the bolts. I'm not sure that clear this is gonna be in the video, but there's a, an indent right there, right there, right there, and right there. So let's drill those out. I'm gonna start with a small pilot hole, just to guide the bigger drill bit. I'm going to hit it with a half-inch drill. There we go. Let's try to set the post on the plywood and see how it lines up. I'm expecting problems, but you never know. Maybe I'll get lucky today. So stick one. Like I said, problems, right? <laughs> let 
So I think we're gonna have to hog out those holes a little bit more. And all the bolts actually line up except for this one here. So I got, you know, I got a nut here to just kind of make sure that we're only putting the threads in here because that's gonna be the widest portion. So those all fit. They come through the bo bottom okay. So I'm not too worried about any of these except for this one back here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the mailbox as it stands right now to guide the drill bit through that fourth hole. Let's see how that works. Took a tiny bit of aluminum with us, but that'll be fine. Let's make sure this fourth one fits now. There we go. So I think we got our bolt pattern in the plywood. Okay, so the base plate of the mailbox post down there is about three quarters of an inch thick. This plywood is just over half an inch thick. So we wanna make sure that we leave enough threads sticking out because uh, the mailbox uh, post, the base plate is thicker than this. So I think running the threads down all the way will probably be enough. So the way I'm doing this is I'm just sticking an anchor bolt and a washer through each bolt hole. And I'm sticking a washer and a nut on top we want to make sure we have at least a quarter inch of thread sticking out. And we can put, you know, like egg corn nuts on top of this later on if we want, if there's any extra threads showing. So something like this. kind of what we're after. I'm going to measure the exposed threads and make sure you got at least a quarter inch all the way around. Because you don't want to be caught not having enough threads, not being able to put a screw on there. If you have too many threads, you can always cut them off. You can't add more. You get the idea. Let's see how everything fits. Or if it fits. Fingers crossed, everybody. One. So close. Where are we off? There we go. I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So we now have our bolt pattern. Make sure you take the post off and reinstall it a few times. Make sure that's a smooth process. If there's any bind up, again, it's not gonna get any better once you sink it in concrete. If you find that it binds up, what you can do is you can take a three quarter inch, or you can loosen the nut on the bottom of the plywood, take a three quarter inch wrench, you know, tap the bolt side to side, just ever so slightly until it lines up and then hunk everything down. Um, so you might need to do some minor adjustments, but you should be able to lift this post off, put it back on fairly smoothly without any real, any real, uh, toil. All right, so now I think it's time to go out there and start digging. Before I dig, I'm going to whip together some concrete forms, a 12 by 12 box made out of two by fours that we can use to level that concrete pad to make sure that the mailbox is going to sit level. So I'm just going to use some scrap two by four, cut that down. Got my two by fours cut down. I got two at 15 inches, two at 12. That gives us a 12 inch box. Let's screw this together. Now I'm going to do this 
in a way such that I can get the fasteners out, hopefully, without too much hassle. So I'm gonna make this the top right here of the box. I'm gonna put the fastener in at an angle from the top. This way I can get it out easier. This is just a temporary thing. We don't have to worry about this being super, super strong. It just has to hold a little bit of concrete. I'll do the same thing on this side. one a little bit, it's a little crooked. There we go. So that'll give us a 12 by 12 box that we can use to form the concrete up and level. So imagine that post being lower because obviously those bolts are gonna be sunk in the concrete but that, bo that box is gonna sit there temporarily just to allow us to level out the concrete and street it. Now it's time to dig. Now United States Postal Service mail guides, mail guidelines say that the bottom of the mailbox should be between 41 to 45 inches off the ground and the front of the mailbox should be between six and eight inches from the street. So we're gonna try and, I'm gonna go out there and measure that ahead of time. I'll mark it with some paint and then we'll just start digging. I'll spare you that process. You guys can tell we're outside now. So before anybody complains, I did have the utilities marked. The water line runs down up here. The electrical line is all the way up there. So we're not, shouldn't be able to, shouldn't have to hit, worry about hitting anything. And we're gonna put the mailbox right about there. You can see the old one right there, it's falling apart. And I think it's falling apart because it's right next to someone's driveway. So we're gonna move it to the other side of the driveway uh, here so that hopefully no one runs into it. So uh, I got my gas powered post hole digger over here. I got a couple shovels. I got the screed board level. So I think we're ready to start digging. I think I'm gonna use the gas powered post hole digger to see if we can actually go down into the earth there because we do have this storm grate right here. There is a pipe underground that runs diagonally about a 45 degree angle to that storm grate on the side of the street. So I'm gonna see how deep we can go. I just don't wanna hit that pipe in the ground. Now we hit something down there, let's go see what it is. Yeah, we were good, it was just a couple of rocks. Now it's time to dig out some, some area for the form boards. So I'm gonna do that with a trenching shovel. trusty concrete truck to haul three bags of concrete over here. They're three 50 pound bags. That should be enough to do 1.15 cubic feet of concrete. That's a little bit bigger than a 12 by 12 by 12. So that's about what I have here. So the hole is maybe 
I don't know, 15 inches deep, a little bit less. Give you guys a look. Hopefully this is enough. I don't have a fourth bag on me. So I'm going to mix the concrete up probably in a bucket, pour it in there a bit at a time. Um, if it seems like I'm going to run out, I might mix a little bit of dirt in with the concrete. It's probably a cardinal sin for structural stuff, but this is just a mailbox. Then we're going to level out our form board here, then shove in our anchor bolts right there. Yeah, on second thought, I bought the fast setting stuff. Sets in 20 to 40 minutes, so I don't think I'm going to mix it separately. I think I'm going to run out of time. It does say you can just pour it in the hole and dump water in there, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think it's probably the safer move. I'm not going to record this part just because I'm going to run out of time going back and forth to the camera, so I'm on a time limit, but I'll show you guys the finished product. The, uh, the bolt plate set in the concrete, I did kind of have to work fast. It's warm out. This stuff was setting up quick, so the, the top is not going to have the prettiest surface finish, but it's going to hold, and grass is going to grow around it anyway, so this is not my best concrete work. Um, I probably would not have bought the fast setting stuff. I was just care careless. So if you're doing this in your mailbox and you want to do a really nice, pretty job, then uh, I would advise getting the slow setting stuff that cures over like 90 minutes or so and um, do it that way. Because again, I just dumped the concrete in the hole and I just hit it with some water and that's not going to lead to the prettiest finish. But it is what it is. It's flat, it's level. Um, just need to let this set up now so I'm going to clean up a bit. Okay, a couple hours later, let's take the form boards off. One, two, three, four. So there's our slab. Like I said earlier, you know, it's not the prettiest surface finish, but it's good enough for a mailbox. I would template off and we'll let it cure overnight before we put the mailbox in. Hopefully the plywood will just pop off. Maybe not. Okay, I guess I need to get something. Maybe a Hummer or Mateo. There we go. We have a couple holes near where the anchor bolts went in. I'm going to patch those up real quick with some concrete. Pour it on. So I'm going to do this real quick. Old mailbox. And here's the pad for the new one. Sorry if I'm a little wobbly. So I got all the forms pulled off. I patched the, the surface of that concrete. I'm going to let that sit overnight. Let that con concrete cure. It takes 26 days to fully cure, but overnight you should have enough strength to bolt the mailbox too. Pick it up tomorrow. So the next morning. So I think I'm going to get the mailbox installed onto the post and then we can go and see if this whole thing fits. See how good of a job I did. Good or bad, I suppose. So now the instructions that come with this thing are not all that great in my opinion. I think the way it's supposed to mount, so I, there's a threaded rod that comes with it. I think you got to thread that in the back here. And that just sits here on this post hole in the post. There's a bunch of uh, a couple of screws with a tapered head. I think they go through the back here. Down in there like so. And there's a rubber washer that I'm assuming is used to seal it. So you kind of need to have three or four hands when you do this. Then you gotta get nut installed from the inside. There we go. So I'm holding the. Well, first I'm gonna drop a few things. This might be easier laying down. Maybe we should try that. Work smart, not hard, right? Let's 
Let's try this way, shall we? There we go. Now I can sort of see what I'm doing. Unfortunately, you guys can't, but not much to see. I think this rubber washer goes on the outside to prevent the mail from getting wet when it rains. this bad boy off and reverse it. Assuming they did it that way for shipping so nothing got broken or damaged. Speaking of damage, the, uh, the number plate on this was damaged in transit. I did reach out to the seller and they're going to send a new one, which is what they should do. Okay, we need to put washer and a nut on that threaded rod. And this nut, or this bolt, I believe, has to go through here. It looks like the, I mean, this just kind of slips in here. I don't see any threads or anything. Maybe that's just like a, a stud or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's, I'm not sure. It feels like it should be more positively affixed, but Maybe I'm wrong. Got all the fasteners snugged up. It's a good looking mailbox. Just snug them up with a couple 14 millimeter sockets or wrenches. So this is the piece that's broken here. So the seller is sending a new one. So I'm gonna attach it temporarily and just kind of sharpie in the, the house number just so uh, my neighbor can get his mail. And there we go, just temporarily affixed and the crack is right there. So this hopefully they'll get us one pretty quickly, but the seller did agree to send another one. Let's go uh, bolt it up and see if it fits. All right, so let's see if it fits. I put one nut in there to just to secure it temporarily. I'm gonna go back and get a level and make sure everything looks okay. Checked it with a level, it's perfect. I'm just gonna put a little dab of super glue on this number plate until the new one gets here just to keep it from flopping around the breeze. It's not a good permanent repair, but it's good enough for now. Just using that Loctite Ultra Gel. That bake in the sun for a few hours, it'll be fine. Now let's put on the remaining bolts in the bottom. This job's done. Normally I would have put the dirt into a bucket or on a tarp or something. I was just too lazy. So just wash it down. I got scooped up most of the dirt by hand. So I'll just wash the rest of it into the grass. It'll be fine. It's where it came from anyway. There we go. All nice and beautiful. I think it came out pretty nice.
Very nice. Now it's time for some demo. Let's see how much of a fight this thing puts up. All right, I'm gonna fill that hole in off screen. You guys don't need to watch me do that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching me install this mailbox. Hopefully it helps you guys, and thanks for staying with me and keeping me company. Take care. And don't forget to subscribe, please.